Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 13. As always, if you want to download this workbook, go to my college website, uh, college website, and there's the file Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, we did a frequency distribution in our last video. Here's the product uh, field name. Here's the products we sold, and here's the frequency, the count. We totaled, we got 200, which is how many sales transactions we have in our data set. In this video, we want to create a column chart and then see uh, patterns from the frequency distribution and the column chart. Now, let's just look here. What is a pattern we can recognize? Because that's the point of descriptive statistics. Well, Yanaki sold the most, 58. Carlota and Aspen came in a close second and third with 40. These three boomerangs outsold all of these dramatically. Not only that, but the sunset had the least sales. Those are all possible patterns. Now, uh, for each one of these things we're building here, frequency, column, relative frequency, there is some pattern description down below here that you can look at. Hey, let's create a column chart. I'm going to highlight. And the way charts work is they tend to put anything on the left on the horizontal axis and anything on the right on the vertical axis. These will be labels that will appear on the horizontal axis. And this will be the column height on the vertical axis. So we highlight just like that, not including the total. There's going to be our horizontal. There's our vertical. Now, you go to Insert charts and column. But wait, if you're in 2007, I'm going to hit Escape. There's a keyboard shortcut for the default chart. Now, if you don't change your default chart, the default chart is a column chart. Let's do it. The keyboard shortcut is Alt F1. Alt F1. Wow, that is cool. Now, I'm going to point to the upper corner here and hold Shift. and the Right now, I'm going to click to the edge. Click on the edge here, and we see that cursor right there. You can click and move. Ooh, wait a second. Control Z, because I didn't want to move it that far. That That is undo. I'm going to click and drag and make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to point to this edge. That's the move cursor. There we go right there. Now, with any graphical chart, you want to get all of the information here with the least amount of chart junk. Now, we need to put uh, labels for the horizontal and vertical axis. Get rid of that. There's some uh, repeat here. I'm going to start by clicking here. And then what's the keyboard shortcut for delete? The delete key. Oh, that's much better already. Now, I've got to show you a, um, a cool trick here. If you click on, and we'll, use, we'll do this a lot, if you click on the label, hit the F2 key. Notice that if you hit the F2 key after clicking on a label, the cursor is flashing there. Type an equal sign, and that is a way of linking the labels to cells. I'm going to click on L, uh, L20. It has the extract name, because that's the location where we extracted our advanced filter. And hit Enter. And just like that, uh, product boomerang name. Now, that's not a very good name for this. That actually should be down here. I'm going to click back on here, highlight up in the formula bar, and hit delete. Let's just call this column chart. That may not be the best name for um, a, a business chart that you're producing, but for us it'll work because it'll remind us this is a column chart. Now we need to label both of these and add the number at the top. Let's add a horizontal label, and we'll do that little F2 trick. I'm going to go, and there's Chart Tools, Context Sensitive Ribbon. I'm going to go to Design, but that doesn't have it. Layout, oh, that has it. There's a bunch of labels. I'm going to go to Access Titles, and I want to start with the horizontal one. So I point there and go to Title Below Access. It's highlighted. You can see that. So immediately hit F2. The cursor's flashing up there and hit Equals. Now what we'd like is this product name, this L20, which comes up as extract because when we did our advanced filter, we, um, it named it that. And then hit Enter. Much better. Now let's. Uh, we want the word frequency there. So now we go up to Chart Tools, Layout, Access Titles. And now we want our vertical. And I'm going to scroll down here and say Rotate it. Then hit F2, type the equal sign, and I'm going to click on M20. And you can see the M20 up there. That's the cell with the frequency, and enter. 
And their link now, if you change that, that will update. The last thing we need to do is right click the columns. And when you right click the columns, make sure that all of them are highlighted. If you click on the columns twice, a slow double click, it'll highlight just one, and that's not what we want. Click back out here and click once. You can see that they're all highlighted. Right click and point to format. Oh, no, actually, add data labels. And just like that, it adds them at the top. Now, um, one important aspect of this column chart, this is categorical, meaning these are names. We're counting here. The columns are not touching. There's a gap between them. Very important, because that tells us that this is categorical data. When we get to quantitative data, we'll actually remove the gap. And that will help us visually see that the, there is no gap between the, the quantitative categories. But here we're talking about categorical data, categorical data, no uh, touching columns. We want that gap. Now, um, let's uh, look at this. Yunaki sold the most, Carlota Aspen. Let's uh, scroll, um, click on the edge, and we see our move cursor. Click and drag down. Now, you can um, get that from here also. The frequency distribution, you can easily see 40, uh, 58, 44, 43. I'm going to click and drag this up here. But here, see if I can click and drag this. Make Oh, that's too tall. Luckily, there's Control Z, which is undo. Make it a little bit taller there. Now, what does a chart do? The column chart helps you visually see the frequency distribution. And often, you can recognize patterns more forcefully, like the trend. These are much bigger than these. So you can, you can recognize patterns more forcefully with visual means. So the reason we do visual charts, graphs, charts, is that you can more quickly see the pattern. All right, so that is a frequency distribution in a column chart when we come back. I'm going to click and drag this down here. We'll do relative frequency and percent frequency and see some interesting aspects of the percent frequency. All right, see you next video.